Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial for 14 days, and this will give you access to uh, Bookmap. Uh, you can get the Bookmap Basic or Advanced. I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, as well as uh, access to uh, our other resources, which includes the advanced order flow webinar that begins in about 28 minutes. Okay, so uh, this this webinar here, we go through the details uh, in the platform, uh, what Bookmap is showing you, the basics, uh, and then um, uh, which is important, uh, and uh, ask questions about uh, what what you see here, uh, and then we'll get into the uh, a little bit of the order flow at the end of the uh, uh, webinar here. All right. Uh, and then um, you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. So that free trial includes that advanced webinar uh, as well as some other resources. Okay. Uh, there's a trader education course uh, and some documents as well. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to bookmap.com. Okay. Scroll up to the top here. Uh, so we'll click on explore. Uh, there's some intro videos here for those of you who are new. Uh, and I see some new uh, faces in the room, so welcome to uh, to Bookmap here. Uh, these are very short; they're they're concise. They just go through the basics of what Bookmap is showing. Uh, you can find out more about what Bookmap is, its usage, usages, usages, uh, the platform, the benefits, uh, our partners here. There's a data feed here available for Bookmap for equities through Dev Experts, uh, and uh, it's a very uh, powerful uh, data feed. You can find out more about it here. Uh, and if you have any questions about some of the um, uh, equities, let me know. Uh, I have some equities loaded and we can uh, take a look at some of them. Uh, connectivity, okay, so Bookmap is a software platform just like any other platform. Uh, you will need a data feed or data provider or broker uh, to connect Bookmap to the live markets. And this is how you can connect Bookmap. Okay, with one of these uh, data feeds or brokers, or through the API, for example, through NinjaTrader, or Interactive Brokers, or TT uh, XTrader uh, Pro. Okay, so pricing. Uh, here is the 14-day um, uh, free trial uh, for Bookmap Basic and Advanced. Uh, so there's one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. It's 49 per month. It's billed quarterly. So every three months, you're billed uh, 150 bucks. Now you get the 14 day trial period here. Uh, you can go for the advanced version uh, is 99 per month. And the difference here are the add ons. Okay? We have uh, the ability to trade right from the book map chart. Uh, and then we also have these proprietary indicators that we developed uh, that are specifically uh, designed to understand the position of larger players where they might be providing liquidity, uh, order book and volume and balances. Uh, as well as an iceberg detector uh, and a uh, correlation tracker. There are some other details as well. Uh, for those of you who are quants and want to learn more, you can uh, click here and reach out to us. Okay, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, so social media, you can follow us here on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then uh, here uh, is our YouTube page. And uh, you can subscribe to us here at YouTube. Um, if you're new, I would uh, recommend going through some of the intro videos that you see here. And then uh, features and components. Uh, go through some of the features, features and components uh, videos here to understand what Bookmap is uh, and how to use it. Uh, and then uh, some of these order flow video snippets here. Uh, these go through uh, very concisely um, order flow phenomena that we uh, uncover. Uh, in the uh, live uh, webinars, uh, the advanced uh, order flow analysis. Okay, so these are just uh, it's kind of a quick way to understand uh, uh, some of the phenomena uh, in uh, in Bookmap, uh, and then we go through it in uh, detail uh, in the live webinars. Okay, all right, let's jump in here and take a look at Bookmap. We'll take a look at the Nasdaq uh, and. Um, all right, for a lot of you, uh, you're going to look at this chart, and uh, and it, it may look very foreign. Okay, it's actually really simple. Uh, we're showing you basically 
three different data types. Now, I'll close this uh, subchart uh, indicator panel that we have here, uh, which is just showing the cumulative volume delta, okay, with lots of different settings for that. Uh, we'll just close that up, though, uh, and uh, just go through the data that you see here, okay, and just understand the basics in Bookmap, All right? We're really showing you, uh, if I zoom in here, uh, just three different things. Uh, we're showing you the historical best bid and offer, we're showing you the volume that took place on the best bid and offer with these dots. Okay, that's traded volume. Uh, and then we're showing you this heat map here, which is the limit order book. It's where people are offering up here and where they're bidding down here. Okay, now that you usually see in the dome, as you can see over here, the current order book. This is the dome here in book map. This, this is uh, liquidity at these specific price levels, uh, limit orders, people providing liquidity. Okay, uh, now we just take that this data here, uh, turn it into a heat map, uh, and then we project it on the chart historically. So it's actually a really simple stuff. Now let's go through the demo here, and we're going to uh, just turn on some candlesticks. We're going to turn off the volume, uh, and we're going to turn off historical best bid and offer as well as the heat map, okay, and the indicators as well. Uh, and I need to turn off the new feature that we have on the candlesticks here that gives the uh, a VWAP here, okay? So I'll just make it really simple, uh, and um, let's zoom out. Okay, this is a five-minute candlestick chart, uh, and uh, we are all accustomed to understanding the candlestick charts. Uh, so uh, open, high, low, close of a five-minute period. Uh, and uh, you can start to read some of the pressure with the wicks and uh, the color of the body and the and the the length of the uh, of the candle and the body, and understand um, uh, what's going on here uh, in price. It, it gives you a, a, you know some some insight. However, there are, is so much more data here that we're not seeing that is uh, a very very opaque. For example, we have no idea uh, where the volume traded. On this candlestick chart. Now we do have a volume subchart here. Uh, however, it's not showing you where it took place on the candle. Okay, that's important data, right? Uh, we want that insight. We want that transparency because it's going to allow us to make much more informed and precise uh, trading uh, uh, decisions. So. Um, there's another uh, thing that the, the candlestick chart is just is completely lacking here, and that's uh, the ability to show microstructure, okay? Because it's aggregating this data for five minutes. It's going back and forth in this candle, uh, and then that time period is over and a new one starts. So I'm going to turn on the historical best bid and offer, all right? And uh, let's zoom into this low here, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Uh, Actually, actually, the candlestick chart's not doing such a bad job today. Maybe, uh, maybe this would be the best example of some of the microstructure uh, that you see uh, in Bookmap that you don't really see in the candle whatsoever. Okay, so this is the breakdown here at 9:30. At 9:30, we, uh, we you can see the uh, pre-market. We went sideways for a bit, uh, kind of broke down here, went sideways for a bit, and then broke down again. Okay, now it's this microstructure here. Uh, that gives us a lot of insight in Bookmap. This is the historical best bid and offer. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, so the red line is the historical best offer. The green is the historical best bid. And you can see that we went sideways for a bit. In fact, we auctioned down below the low here and came right back up into the range uh, and then failed again. Okay. And, it, and this auction down below was successful. And you can see that the uh, price trended lower. Okay, all of that kind of data here, uh, we have no insight uh, looking at the candlestick. In fact, uh, look how we broke down, came back up, and tested uh, into uh, just where we broke from right here uh, in um, uh, the uh, microstructure. Uh, we don't see that at all here in the candlestick. We just see uh, a couple of uh, uh, red candles and uh, some wicks. Okay, so now uh, let's turn on the volume. Uh, and get some transparency to understand where the transactions are taking place. So, for example, look at all the transactions that took place here. This is really insightful. Uh, we understand that there was a lot of selling down here. 
It's also a lot of buying. It's, it's on both sides here. So we kind of went sideways for a bit. Uh, and then you can see this rejection uh, down here. We came back up and uh, we went right back down and look how the selling uh, took took uh, some charge here. Okay, We see them uh, a larger um, a dot here uh, selling and it's uh, uh, taking place down below the swing and, uh, and it's accepting. All right. So uh, you can see that um, uh, we continue on down and, and this is very indicative of a trend in the order flow is we can see large volume trading at lower lows, okay? And the swings and the returns back up into uh, uh, the um, uh, these pullbacks here, uh, we see very little volume trading compared to these other areas where the swing low is, okay? So lower lows, lower highs. On the lower high pullbacks here, we see less volume, okay? So uh, already, I mean, that's already lacking on the candlestick chart, and already we can see uh, there's prop, um, um, possible trading strategies based here, okay? So uh, looking for a pullback, looking for low volume, looking for price discovery to the downside, uh, to trade where it can trade, okay? And then further uh, as well, right? Because there was a lot of transactions down here. Um, it's, there's not a lot of transactions here. It's rotating lower to find those transactions. All right, so uh, that's the volume and um, uh, let me zoom into an area here and I'll show you uh, exactly what occurred uh, in some of these areas. So um, in fact, uh, we can see a reversal here uh, in the uh, in the structure uh, and uh, you can see the, uh, the, aggressive, the aggressive volume take place here. So let's zoom into this area uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what bookmap is displaying, okay? So uh, on the historical best bid and offer here, you can see all these dots, okay? These dots are are trades, they're transactions, all right? Uh, so uh, historical best offer is the red line and you see this green dot. This is a market buy. Someone hit the market buy button and the transaction took place on the best offer. They crossed the spread, they took liquidity off of the best offer. And that's why we consider this aggressive volume cl classification. They paid up the spread uh, and they took liquidity. They didn't provide liquidity. They didn't wait at a specific price level. They were more aggressive. Uh, and then uh, the uh, red dot is an aggressive market sell. And okay, now all of these different dots and you can see all the different transactions. Uh, if you want the uh, data, you can use the um, data tip tool here. We can hover over these areas and you can see this was uh, the date here, uh, the time, what was on the ask, the liquidity that was on the ask here, and the volume. Uh, this was for volume of one. Okay, and this one down here was for a volume of one on the sell side. All right, so we can see exactly uh, uh, what transpired here. Now, we can zoom into these areas here uh, and continue to zoom in uh, down to uh, microsecond and even nanosecond levels. Okay, now we don't trade at these levels, okay, but we, we have every single um, market event uh, from your data provider. Okay, and it's all recorded here. But note how, as I start to, I'll start to zoom out here, and I start to compress the timeline together, that we're going to get an aggregate view here. Uh, and um, so we're giving you all the data, uh, every single event. But then when we zoom out, we're giving you the overall aggregate, uh, just visually or graphically. So I can see this big dot here, and you can see that it's a, a pie chart. It, it has buying and selling in it. Okay, this is for a volume of 201 contracts, and the majority of it, about three quarters of it, uh, is aggressive buying. All right, and that's what's pulling the market up out of these areas. All right, so that's the uh, the volume, uh, what it's showing you, and um, the uh, yeah, some you know some insight into uh, some of the volume here. Okay, so we broke out of this range right here. Okay, look at the selling down below. And um, and then we see that uh, we kind of went sideways for a bit here. And then we broke above the swing here and we see more volume and look at the green, okay? So a lot of buying up here, okay? And it's accepting up here, right? Above all of this uh, volume down below in this range, 
okay? We're in a new trading range, uh, and um, uh, you can, all of this kind of transparency here is something that you can see in bookmap very clearly, but you'd, you'd be a pretty hard pressed to be able to see that in uh, uh, a candlestick chart. Okay, you may even, it depends on the uh, on the time frame, but seeing some of this microstructural stuff and understanding uh, the transactions that uh, took place uh, on the microstructure is also giving you more insight than a footprint chart would because a footprint chart also aggregates the data. It'll sit there on maybe a five minute candle or maybe it's a bar range uh, where finally uh, it will uh, go into a new bar when a new range is broken. Uh, and um, uh, that, um, uh, but all of that data on that bar is going to be aggregated. So you don't see the microstructure. You don't see these small little breaks and understanding of what occurred and where the volume traded right immediately after that. Uh, so um, uh, that's the advantage uh, that you get um, at Bookmap uh, just by seeing that historical best bid and offer. Uh, it allows you to see that microstructure. Okay. All right. So that's just the volume uh, and the, the uh, microstructure here. Uh, and um, uh, the, um, the next thing that we want to uh, be aware of uh, when, we're, uh, when we're trading is understanding the, the transactions is good, but we want to also understand uh, the limit order book. Where are they bidding and offering uh, in this market? All right. Uh, it's an important part of the order flow. Now, we usually access that by looking at the dome. Okay, the COB column right here, current order book, this is your dome in book map. Okay, we can see all of the uh, uh, traders lined up here. These are contracts at these specific price levels uh, in the NASDAQ E-mini. Okay, these are traders lined up. They want to be sellers here on the offer. Okay, they want to be buyers down here on the bid. Okay, and uh, we can start to look at large areas. Uh, and... Um, we can see 90 contracts right here, all right? Uh, 87 contracts or 97 up here, okay? So we want to understand where the majority of the traders are. It gives us insight to where price might move or be uh, repelled from, right? Now, the problem with the dome is that once this data changes here, it, it, that the information is, is um, it's lost. It's not recorded. Uh, so you'd have to remember it. You have to write it down and remember it in your head that um, uh, at uh, 78, there were 90 contracts and there are no more uh, at this point. Now it's 61. Okay. So they pulled, they pulled liquidity. Uh, so the way Bookmap solves this issue uh, is uh, we um, uh, record it in the heat map. Okay. So you can see here that um, uh, areas of high liquidity in the heat map are painted bright white. Okay, so now we know exactly where they where they are with the high liquidity. Okay, and and um, a little bit darker shades, uh, there's uh, less liquidity. Okay, and uh, so now uh, in this window here, this is the current market window with best bid and offer and last traded volume. Uh, we can see uh, you know them pro providing liquidity. When these numbers change here, the um, liquidity. A heat map will change. Now, where this gets interesting is that we project all of this historically on the chart. Okay, so you can see here, you can see how they're flashing, like it's getting brighter and then darker and then brighter. Well, that's they're they're adding and pulling liquidity at this 78 and a half level. Let's zoom in there. Okay, and we can re, we can see all of this recorded uh, on the historical chart. Okay, this these striations that we see at this price level is the adding and pulling of liquidity, okay? So now, on a bigger picture, we can start to understand their intent to trade at some of these levels, okay? Look how this trader here is probably the same guy. He was adding and pulling, but now he's adding up at a higher level. So he's not, he doesn't want to be a seller here. He wants to be a seller here now, a point higher at 79 and a half. He's also now pulling here coming up to this 80 and a half or maybe uh, to 81, okay? So now we can start to read the intent of these uh, players in the auction. And we can see that, uh, no, they don't really have the intent to trade here. They don't want to trade, okay? They, wanna, they want to trade on the offer up at higher levels, okay? And that's pretty bullish, uh, showing um, a bullish activity, 
Okay, and you can see the buyers are, are uh, uh, you know, the aggressive buyers here. Uh, we see the green dots pulling price up. Probably going to come up here and test this 81 area. And why do I say that? Well, it's because that's where the liquidity is. The market needs liquidity to trade. And we have that insight now. Okay. Now we, we can see if these guys really mean business up here as well, but we'll have to wait until we get up here. All right. So um, uh, anyway, uh, that's what uh, the heat map is showing you. Uh, it's the advantage that you can uh, see historically, and uh, we can um, uh, really see it when we start to zoom out. Okay. And you get a feel for uh, the overall picture of the liquidity uh, in the uh, uh, the, the um, uh, zoomed out view here, okay? So here they are down at 75, providing high liquidity, and here they are up at 81, providing high liquidity. Okay, any questions? All right, well, also wanna show you something here. Um, this is a, a data feed with Rhythmic, uh, and um, uh, you can see here that um, if you look at your dome, uh, you probably you you may have um, uh, ten levels uh, on the offer and then ten on the bid. Uh, well, this uh, this data feed here with Rhythmic uh, is offering complete depth of market. So these areas up here, uh, or if I if I zoom vertically a little bit, these areas down here, this is all live. This is entire depth of market. Okay, this is a this is a real distinct advantage. Okay, we can see where players are starting to provide liquidity. Look at them, them coming in up at these levels between 82 and 83. All right, uh, and um, even bigger picture, uh, it's this works out really nicely. Uh, here you can see they're providing high liquidity before the 9:30 open right here. Okay, here's our 9:30 open. We see high liquidity up here. Okay, we see them getting very aggressive. Uh, uh, a chasing price here and pressing down on uh, uh, price in some of these levels here with pretty high liquidity. All right, and we can see that uh, these these traders down here they're just waiting. They've been waiting since or before 9:30, and we can see that uh, they got filled down in these areas. Okay, we can zoom into that area and we can see exactly or precisely what happened. Okay, actually a lot of them pulled. Okay. Uh, and we can see that, but we can see that they, they're uh, getting filled in some of these lower areas here. And I'm also starting to suspect that they're pulling high liquidity here, getting out of line, but they're going to get filled down below here with maybe iceberg orders. Okay, it's a trick that uh, a lot of the uh, larger larger players uh, use all the time. Okay, and uh, we can turn on uh, indicators and look at the uh, iceberg detector here. These dots are a little big, so let's uh, let's turn those down a bit. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of surprised we uh, we we really don't see a uh, a lot of uh, a lot of icebergs down here. Okay. So that's kind of funny. Uh, but um, uh, see a little more down here in some of these areas, and uh, and also here. Uh, but um, uh, 50 50 contracts traded that weren't in the book. Okay, a little higher, a little higher area. Kind of interesting to see that. Um, anyway, uh, usually uh, we'll, we'll, we'll notice that uh, if you see large liquidity like this and then large transactions after this liquidity is pulled, uh, start to look for icebergs down in these areas here. Uh, they're, they're absorbing price without showing their liquidity in the limit order book. Okay, that's some of the advanced features that we go through uh, in the... Uh, 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 the order flow, uh, the live uh, advanced order flow webinars that start in about uh, four minutes or so. Okay, so um, uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next webinar if you guys are in current trial uh, or are in um, or current customer uh, at Bookmap. Okay. Uh, for those of you who who uh, uh, are current customers and uh, you're in here. Um, uh, ask questions. Ask questions about uh, some of the new features uh, in Bookmap. There's some new videos uh, that we have. Um, I'll let you guys know in the next webinar. But um, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, your time to ask uh, questions about the platform and about the software and what it's showing. Okay. All right, guys. All right, take care, and we'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow.